I'm basically doing an unboxing of the storage box I have over here uh, because I got the idea that I could actually start streaming Dreamcast stuff, but I couldn't figure out where the heck my Dreamcast went. Because I had a Dreamcast since it released, what, what are we at now, 23 years ago, 22 years ago? Yeah, this guy right here, this guy is old enough to drink now. Here you go, buddy. Drink up. Yeah. And I'm not joking either. This is like first model. I actually read on the bottom of it that it was manufactured in August. The Dreamcast launched September 9th of 99 in the States. So, this is one of the first run Dreamcast. As you can probably tell from the fact that it's yellowed everywhere but on the modem. Do it yellow on the modem. The modem doesn't work. See, the first run of these guys all had a similar problem with the modem. The modem wasn't built very well. So, chances were very high that if you had a game that needed an internet connection, it wasn't going to work. So, yeah. I found out the hard way that I cannot play Fantasy Star online on this. But everything else in the library will work. So we'll just go through my little thingies here. This still, last I checked anyway, this still worked. It's been in storage for Thanksgiving before we moved, and that was a couple years ago. So last time I, I ran it, it ran okay, except for the fact that there were a couple of games where it had a couple of hiccups. And I don't know if that was because I don't know if that was because the games are scratched or if the laser is starting to have problems. So uh, I look forward to that troubleshooting that mess. Yeah, naturally we got cords. I actually kept them all together this time because for a long time I had uh, I had the uh, power cord separate somewhere and I couldn't figure out where it was so I ended up ordering another one and then I found the old one so I don't know which one this is this was the original no this is the one I ordered but still it works fine it's not original to this one but it's it's the same cord it's actually the same cord that the PS2 uses for its power believe it or not well, that's those now I had at least three controllers originally um, right now I can only find the one, which is this blue one. This is not the one, original one that came with it. The original one was white, but this is the original VMU, which is probably dead. Yep. So, so that was the gimmick with these things was it was a little tiny thing, which if you used it with certain games, you can actually play games on it. Like Sonic Adventure had a thing where you could play with your chow on it. So it became like a Tamagotchi thing. The problem is, those games took up a huge amount of space on this thing. So, <laughs> it was almost not worth it. You had to, I originally had this and another memory card. And this was just for like the chow stuff. And the other memory card was for everything else. So I don't know if this actually has all my old save files on it or not. I don't know where that other memory card is. It's not in this box. Uh, now, I will forewarn you, I don't have a lot of the classic, or what people might consider classic Dreamcast games. So, like, the ones that are the big, one, big guns that everybody had, that I do have, are Soul Calibur. If you didn't have this for Dreamcast, you wanted it for Dreamcast. Because this was a really good fighting game that became even better when it got on the Dreamcast. And it was a pain in the butt to unlock everything. And this... It, it became more of a pain in the butt whenever the save file corrupted on this thing. Now, I think most of the time it would do it on the memory card not the VMU. I don't remember if I saved this on the VMU last time or not. But, yeah. 
So this is one of the few I actually still have the original case the case for. Um, but anyway, I've wasted tons of hours on Soul Calibur. And I bring this up because this is the other game that would corrupt on me. And it would corrupt regardless of what I saved it on. And sometimes when this one corrupted, it would corrupt the Soul Calibur save file too. So, <laughs> so this was a fun game. But don't get the Dreamcast version, or it, in t unless you ten intend to save your progress. If you intend to save your progress, you should probably get it on a different system. I think they released it on PlayStation and um, a couple other things. Xbox, probably. But, uh, yeah. This one, the save file corrupts, and then you just have to get everything all over again. You just have to start from square one. There's nothing you can do. So, but, yeah, this isn't the classic... Dreamcast game. It just happens to be a game that was released for the Dreamcast that I got. So, <laughs> so this is another one everybody got. I don't know why it's upside down. This case is kind of busted up. And actually the disc is not in here either. I have the discs in here somewhere probably. But yeah, everybody got Sonic Adventure, the original. So, uh... Probably not going to do that on here. Uh, okay. This is one that most people consider a classic. and I I didn't play it when it first came out. Um, my wife actually got it for me several years later. Uh, but this is Shenmue. In case you can't see it. It is not in its original box for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, I do, ha I did have its original box at some point. Anyway, so the Shenmue, the first, you know, open world game, I guess you could call it, go around, do stuff like a regular person kind of dude guy, and also beat people up eventually. I never got to that point. <laughs> Literally, like there. The game's pacing is so slow. You don't get to fight anybody for a very long time. <laughs> so, Sonic Adventure 2. It is... I don't know. There's something special about this game that I think really speaks to me despite the fact that, you know, it has pro a lot of the problems that 3D Sonics had at the time. This was sort of the point, though, where... I started to fall off on it, and a lot of other people did. Uh, they eventually re-released this for PlayStation and GameCube, and they didn't really add anything to it other than change the multiplayer, like two-player stuff, which most people weren't playing it for that anyway. So, but yeah, this is kind of the the uh, pinnacle. Of Dreamcasty games, as far as adventure games go. Okay, so some of the lesser known games now. So we got Sonic Shuffle. It's supposed to be like Mario Party, except for the fact that it's not like Mario Party because they try to be more strategic in how you do things. Because instead of rolling dice, you have cards, and each of these cards have numbers. But the cards that you got were random, so... Like, there is strategy, but there's a limited amount of strategy to what you can do. And then, some of the minigames are just really... dumb. And some of them are completely jip you, like... There's an alligator one where you're in an alligator. You have to mash to get out of it. Well, of course, the computer is perfect at mashing. All you have to do is just hit a, hit the same button over and over and over and over and over and over again. Then a computer could do that as much as it wants. But you have to physically actually hit the button. So, yeah. Not great. If I get requests to do it, I might do it. Uh, da -da -da. This is one... This is one I can't... You pro may not even be able to see it because I don't have the front of it. Uh, this is Gauntlet Legends for the Dreamcast. And Gauntlet Legends for the Dreamcast 
had all the original Gauntlet Legends characters, plus the ones from Dark Legacy. Now, I can't remember if you have to unlock the Dark Legacy ones or, or if they came right off the bat. I don't remember. But this is kind of an interesting little case study because this is not only a game on a system that eventually went went out out but uh, it's made by a company that went out of business shortly thereafter too so it's made by Midway yes I have emulated the Dreamcast on my computer to play some of these so that I don't have to wear my hardware down I can't play this on there this doesn't emulate well for whatever reason most everything else is fighting games in fact I'm pretty sure everything else is fighting games yeah so this is another one I have the oh here it is this is Street Fighter 3 double impact double impact three versions of Street Fighter 3 right there's new generation Second Impact, Third Strike. Okay. This is Street Fighter 3, New Generation, and Street Fighter 3, Second Impact, Giant Attack. So, it's two games in one, thus Double Impact. See? Uh, <laughs> everybody I knew just called the second one Double Impact. Because they just knew this. I was the only person in my group of friends who had ever seen a Street Fighter 3 arcade machine of any kind ever <laughs> and it was just the one and it wasn't in the town that I was living in at the time it was actually in middle school I, that I played uh, the original new generation and I actually played a lot of new generation in middle school for a kid in middle school who was in an arcade it was because I was an honor roll and then we got to go to the mall for for uh, lunch once a month and that as soon as I was done eating I was in there playing playing uh, Street Fighter 3 because nobody else was playing it everybody else wanted to play X-Men vs. Street Fighter I don't blame them but I wasn't going to sit there waiting in line all day uh, when I only had you know like an hour and a half so anyway so that's Street Fighter 1 and 2 and then or Sorry, that's Street Fighter 3, the first and second versions. And then I also have somewhere in here. I don't have the instructions for this one, I think. I know, for some reason. But, Third Strike. The coveted Dreamcast edition of Third Strike. I also have. Played the a, a ton of this one once I finally found got it. So, But, uh, yep. Yeah, so... You think I'm done with Street Fighter? No, I'm not done with Street Fighter. <laughs> Alpha 3. Now this is the uh, Psycho Dojo version is what they refer to it as. What that basically means is that you don't have to unlock anything. Everything's already unlocked for you. All the characters from the PlayStation and Saturn versions of the game are in here and already unlocked they do have a in world tour mode in the playstation in version i think if i remember correctly uh they had it where your character leveled up and stuff like that they have that in this it's just it's not the same quite the same thing so but there's not really any reason to go through it and it doesn't unlock any characters so <laughs> the idea was that you could f use your created character to fight people online but the online didn't work so <laughs> so there you go oh well the wrong disc is in here huh so I have everything but the disc for Alpha 3 this is Power Stone 2 huh okay I'm gonna have to find out what happened to Alpha 3 this is Power Stone 2 that's actually inside Power Stone 2 I do have this thing for which is this is the follow-up to Power Stone which basically all they did was add a couple of characters and a huge amount of items create a crafting store where you could make new items 
and made it four player. It was fun for what it was. I will say that. But Smash Brothers is not. So and it, it was trying to fill that void somewhere between a, you know, serious fighter brawler type thing to uh, Smash Brothers type game and it's just it, it's not there so so that's that uh, I'll have to figure out where Alpha 3 went to because it is not in its box oh great oh I put this in a different CD case uh, Marvel 2 the coveted Dreamcast Marvel 2 which I don't have any of the original stuff for apparently but I still have the game and that's one of the ones I wanted to play because I was getting a hankering for it lately because of the uh, hashtag free free Marvel 2 that uh, Maximilian was throwing around there so different looking case but this is the instructions for it. this is Marvel 1 which Looking back on it, when I was a kid, I liked this one more than I liked Marvel 2. But, I don't know. I can kind of see the advantages of both now. Having gone back and played this on an emulator a couple of times. So, but I'm hoping to play the actual thing on stream. So, uh... Let's see if this is actually what it says it is. It is what it says it is. Ah, and that's where it hit its buddy. Okay, so Alpha 3 was hidden in this case, but it, I also have the disc. Capcom versus SNK. Uh, this was my first introduction to SNK. And I love the heck out of this one. If I had access to... Capcom vs. SNK2, I probably would have enjoyed that a lot more. As, as it was, they never released it in the States, so I didn't play it until many years later when I when I downloaded it off the internet and played it. So, <laughs> you know, but this was my first introduction to SNK. I have gotten back into SNK games more recently, especially because Amazon keeps putting them up for free. It's like I'm not gonna say no. So, um, so I have mounds of respect for the the SNK team, Neo Geo games. Now, uh, I had some some amount of respect for them once this came out, and I enjoyed it. But oh, there is one more, but I don't have it down right now well actually there's two more you might see it in the back corner if you look if you squint real hard it's uh i have a copy of crazy taxi back there that is framed i don't intend to get it out of the frame uh but i might i'll think about it the other is one i have in a secret stash right now which is ken spike which is a capcom shoot 'em up that stars Cammy and Charlie and a handful of other Capcom characters so so hopefully next week I can get all this hooked up and we'll be streaming like we do with the switch except we'll be streaming from the Dreamcast you have any suggestions what we should start with based on what we have here uh, let me know but I have a few a few ideas in mind as to what we're going to play on the Dreamcast to start off.